What's up guys, I'm Tommy and welcome to another episode of Tommy Tech Outdoors. Today I'm going to be taking my 2019 Hobie Outback on its maiden voyage, so stay tuned. If you're new to my channel and you like fishing, crabbing, kayaking, boating, or just spending quality time with family and friends outdoors, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that red subscribe button below and clicking that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. All right, so to give you a little bit of perspective of uh, what I have set up right now, I don't have my 2019 completely set up, so I have my uh, GPS set up over here. Got two, two rod holders. This is the Omega Pro. This is uh, Scotty. I think it's one of, you know what they call it. But I'll, I'll give you guys a, a tour of my fishing setup when I uh, get all that hooked up but um i don't even have the uh transducer on my fish finder yet i just have it hooked up to my aqua battery which is right here and i just hooked it up so i can get some speeds for you guys um <laughs> i did bring a i think this is a 12 pound anchor because when i did my speed test with my big speed jet that's what i had on the boat so i was trying to keep it somewhat even with that and you know i got a couple rods i got my ingle cooler um, what else do I have? We got my wheels in the back. No, so I'm just trying to keep everything similar to uh, how I did my speed test in my 2016 uh, Hobie Outback. So, and again, uh, there's a lot of factors here, you know, because I am in a river right now. There's currents. Uh, the wind's not blowing that much. There's a slight breeze on the water, so it's not flat calm. So you got to take those into consideration, but um, I'm just trying to show you guys uh, you know, just an honest speed test of, you know, what I can do. I mean, somebody might be able to do uh, a test that's, you know, faster than me or, you know, what have you. All right, guys, so I'm going to see how well it uh, paddles first since I've got my paddle out right now. So I've got my fish finder over here. Uh, I'm going to see how fast I can go. See if this tracks better than the old one, which I can already tell it does, actually. This actually does go much faster than my 2016 Outback. I can already notice the difference. And right now my GPS is saying I'm going 3.1 miles an hour. Try to go a little bit faster. Yeah, 3.7. So I got it to about 3.7, just messing around with that. I'm actually kind of anxious to use my drive, so I'm going to switch over to that. And I can already feel the difference with um, just one stroke, how it actually really the kayak cuts through the water so much better than the uh, 2016 Outback. So I'm going to put the Mirage drive in now, and then we'll see, uh, do some speed tests with that. Tell you what, it is pretty sweet. You have steering on both sides. So if I'm fighting a fish, and if I ever have to change hands, I can uh, easily use my other hand to still steer the boat. So I'm gonna do a speed test. Um, I actually switched my GPS to be on uh, knots because my other speed test video I did was done in knots and also then that's you know, more understandable for everybody all around the world so right now I'm not doing much right now I'm gonna go at like a just normal speed for me to like you know a gradual speed for me to just go out and uh, you know troll around so right now I'm going about Six one six two knots. Six three. So I'm gonna do this for a little bit just to see how fast I go. So about 
anywhere between 6'1", 6'3", I think. Yeah, so about 6, 6 one to 6'3", and then this is just a kind of a gingerly pace just for me to get out, not wear myself out. All right, so now I'm gonna go a little bit faster. Now, maybe, you know, just a little bit faster so that I can get out fast, but not uh, wear myself out. So let's do that now. So I'm at seven knots, 7.1, seven knots, 7.1. So I'm going a little bit faster than uh, if I were just kind of cruising around. So now I'm just going to a kind of a regular pace. And I'm about six knots. So let's uh, go as fast as I possibly can. All right, so I got up to 8.5 knots. 8.6, 8.8, got up to nine. Got up to 9.1. Oh, I can feel that burn. So I got up to nine, 9.1. But as I came out into the river, actually the a little bit windy and I can actually see the current kind of coming in. All right, so that's just a brief speed test. I'll probably do another one just to uh, see if there's any difference because uh, I'm actually in the main river now and it's uh, totally different from when it was back in there. So if you guys have any questions about the speed test or would like me to you know, try something a certain way, now let me know and uh, comment on the comment section down below. All right, so now let's uh, do a turning test. Cause I know that was a big worry with a lot of people is with the way the rudder is, is it gonna be able to turn just like with the sailing rudder? Cause I actually had the sailing rudder on my 2016. Well, until I put the, uh, the Bigsby jet on there. All right, so I'm going at a Kind of a gingerly pace, regular pace, whatever you want to call it. Going to turn to my left. So on my hat cam up here, you guys can notice the houses there on right in front of me. That is the uh, going towards the mouth to my left. So let's see how fast I turn. So I'm turning left right now. And that turned on a dime. <laughs> I'm actually very happy with that. So you notice the houses again. Let me turn to the right. And look at that. <laughs> that is awesome, actually. If any of you that have owned the, uh, or that currently own the Big Speed Jet for Hobie, it turns great when it's under power. But with that rudder, it turns so slow. Um, I'm actually gonna do a mod with the rudder and attach the rudder to my, my sit, I'm sorry, attach the Bigsby jet to my sailing rudder and see if that makes a difference. Two of my friends did it and they said it did. So I'm gonna do that for you guys before I uh, sell my kayak, which I'm trying not to do, but somebody else wants me to, so. All right, so. To do another turning test, you can see the houses there in front of me. See open bay there. And then back here, there's a, a tree line. Hopefully you can see that through my hat, my hat cam. All right, so here are the houses. We are completely turned around. You're gonna see that tree line. So I'm gonna go forward. And I am turning left now and there is the tree line i am completely turned around 
I'm actually very happy with that. That's pretty sweet. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, wind's blowing a little bit. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, got the tree line here, and now to the back of me are the houses. So I'm gonna turn right this time. All right, so I am turning right now. It's the open water. And there are the houses. That is, I'm actually very impressed with that. Um, I didn't actually expect that out of this rudder, but that's what the uh, guys told me at Delaware Paddle Sports and said it does turn on a dime. It really does. So I'm actually very happy with the uh, turning with this rudder. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna be doing a test now with my Bixby that I got back here. So I'll probably put that in another video. So uh, stay tuned for that video. And I may go fishing a little bit and uh, finally get this uh, kayak slimed. All right guys, so you can see this boat coming towards me. What I'm gonna do is let this boat pass me. And then when the uh, wake of the boat comes towards me, I'm gonna go right in it and see how the uh, hull slap is. I already noticed that there pretty much is no hull slap. There is no hull slap at all. But now we'll see if uh, any water comes over because they said it is a wetter ride than the uh, older Alpex because of the flare on the front of the kayaks. So now I have the uh, boat's weight coming towards me and I am going straight towards it. I will uh, let you know when uh, I'm close to it and then just pay attention to the... Uh, sorry, there's boats all around me. It's making it hard for me to, uh, hopefully you can hear me. Actually, that's a jet ski. All right, so the uh, wake's coming at me now. Let's see. So pay attention to the, uh, the bow. Water did just come over. Water came over. Cut right through though. Water did come over. So definitely is a wetter ride. So that's probably one of those give and takes with the 2019 Hobie Outback. This jet ski should have made a little bit of a wake too. Let me go into that wake too and see. All right, so here's the wake of the um, jet ski coming. It's not as big, but let's see. She's gonna go a little faster too. All right, I'm in the wake. Pay attention to the bow. Oh, actually, nothing. Well, that was a, it's kind of a small wake anyways. But uh, at least I give you an idea of how the uh, the bow is, you know, the flare on the bow. It definitely does feel like it goes faster, but we'll see when I uh, do the same test on my 2016 OB Outback. All right, guys, so that was my initial test of the 2019 Hobie Outback. Uh, if there's like any other, other things you'd like me to test or, you know, try out, let me know. This is my first time coming out, so didn't really plan, so I'm just kind of going with whatever's coming out of the top of my head. So uh, if you have any questions, want me to test something, so do something specific, please comment in the comment section below. And I'll try to do that on my uh, next video when I come out. So if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.